see him with buckets of shit. <laughs> ah, yes. The bailiff doesn't like him. Carry All right. Uh, so before I do the tournament, I definitely need to do some training with uh, Captain Bernard. And we definitely want to have a bit of a walk with Teresa. How about we go hunting? And also... There's the good doggy. Yeah, he's not very That's happy. Boy. <laughs> he's not very happy. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. God. Uh, hitting hairs is so difficult. Hey! Okay, you, know, you can also fetch. get the dog to fetch. That trains your skill, so yeah. Definitely get the dog to fetch. Oh, right in the ass. <laughs> There's another bunny as well. Ah, oh, he's run away from the dog. Okay, so 42. So two bunnies more should be fine. Perfect. Okay, hopefully there's another bunny somewhere here. I think it's a good way to pass the time. I should prefer to hunt deers. They're a lot easier to hit. No, you stupid dog. Oh, nice. And this should be it. And as I said, you get skill points from that. So look at that. Skill level 2. And we got a bit of our bow skill as well. Look what I've got. You'll love them. So you, the amount of experience you get every time you feed them is is dependent on um, how long it's been since the last time you did this. So if you do it too often, it doesn't work. Okay, so I'm going to hand this in. Um, we should be able to finish Aquarius. And then we'll, we can go on a date with Teresa. Wrong quest. Right, he's towards the rear. Uh, so let me speak to Agnes. Then we'll go around the back. I asked around in Sasa. Father Francis is doing well in Sasa. He has no plans to return to St. James anytime soon. You talk to him? How is he doing? Doesn't he need his cassock fixed? He's always tearing it. There isn't a pew or a step he hasn't tripped over at one time or another. As I said, he's doing just fine. Take care. Okay, so there you go, that's done. So that takes care of that particular side of the quest. Then there is Alex over here. Oh, there's a lot of guards. Please don't speak to me. I've got that game meat for you. Great. Let's have a look at it. Thanks, Henry. We'll get lots of supplies for this. I've got another job for you. The innkeeper had a bit of a row with his wife and wants to make up. She's very fond of venison sausages. So he asked me what I could do. Venison I can get, but he can make his own sausages. Naturally, just get the meat. So red deer actually is actually quite quite easy to catch. And by the way, we just gained reputation with the with the Scalus refugees, but we lost reputation with the guard. Um there are a number of jobs here. You're one of the people interested in work? Well Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. That's right. But first I'll ask you a few questions. You are Peter. But everyone called me wrong. There was more than enough Peter in the mines. Not just in the mines. So... And yes, uh, that comes from the bubble there, calling Peter Rock. At the mines? So you're a miner? That's right. I worked in the East Shore. I hope we'll be working there again. Now that I think... Have you heard anything from their lordships? When will they open the mines again? I have no idea what their lordships plan to do about it. Alright. I just thought you might have heard something. How badly do you want to carry water? Well, right now there doesn't seem to be much work around for miners. And at least I can earn a few brushes. It's not easy work, though. It's a long way to carry water. Do you think it was easier in the mines? Digging through rock in your knees all day for months on end? So he's not desperate. He's not desperate. There's one more option. Carrying shit. What? For the Naga? It's a job. But what would people say? I need money badly, but I could go back to mining and but... but it would be twice the pay. The money would help, true enough. What about afterwards? I don't want to be carrying shit all my life. <laughs> Look at it this way. You learn double the money in the same time, or the same money in half the time. That's not bad, is it? Well, you have a point. I could get it over and done with quickly, All right, I'll take it. I suppose it won't kill me. Good. I'm sure you won't regret it. 
How are you holding up? You mean this hip? Well, I've got feeling back in my arm again. What happened to it, anyway? That time in Scalic. I was knocked down by a hole. But it's better now. Look, I can see by the way your arm is hanging, it's not here. You can't carry water like that. Well, come on. I owe money to the Sawbones and I need the work to pay for it. I'll give you anything you want. So he's desperate. He's desperate. Um... Well, I could find something that will help you. Anything? Here you go. This will help it heal better. Thank you so much. How much do I owe? That's all right, neighbor. I should have done this before speaking to him because then we should have been able to just tell him that he can carry the crap and he would have accepted. No, oh, nothing. We Scalitz folk have to help each other out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's okay, it's only a marigold decoction. They're found everywhere. The bailiff said he couldn't get a word out of you. Well... He's not the most popular man around here, after everything that's happened. You can't blame us. Maybe, but if you lot had just talked to him, I wouldn't have to run around dealing with this, and you'd all have a few groschen by now. You might be right, but there's no point crying over spilt milk. Uh, yes, uh, you can also ask for a bribe. Don't do that. That's not a good thing. So don't ask for a bribe. That's enough for now. Good luck, then. So he's willing to carry crap. That's the most difficult thing, by the way, getting the people to carry crap. You hear about the water carrying? Aye. I can hold water all day long. So do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? So tell me, what was your trade before? I was a miner, then a farm labourer. Then I was a servant. Then I fled from Scullitz and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh, I liked them all. But they were always sending me to do something else. Pickman, they'd say. Leave this and go and do that. Pickman? That's your name? Uh, actually, my real name's Vassen. But they call me Pickman. Is that German? No, it's from when I was in the mines, digging with a pick. So you're keen on carrying water? I've been keen on it since I got up this morning. And you had another job before this morning, or what? <laughs> no, no, I was just joking. Ah, look at that, proper enthusiasm. Kids nowadays, they don't want to do some proper work. Just ask a boomer. Besides water, you could carry could empty the trees. What? Carry shit? That'd be a new one for me. Though, it's not a thing I'd go around boasting about. How are you holding up, anyway? What can I tell you? I've seen better days, for sure. What happened with the bait? We couldn't get a word out of anybody. That peacock, what was strutting up and down and shouting at everyone? He told me he'd no time to listen to a buffoon like me. So I shut my mouth. That's enough for now. So, we're agreed then? When do I start work? Look, the bailiff is the one who'll decide after I report back to him. So, I might not get the job? I'll be in the shit if I don't. Understand? Good luck. This is Cornelius. He used to run the mines. You're interested in carrying water? I am. It's about time something good came to decent folk. I agree. Now, I'll ask you a few questions. What? But I want the work and I deserve it. Hit your questions for good for nothings. <laughs> He's a bit arrogant. He's a bit arrogant. What makes you so deserving? How did you make a living before this? I was the owner of a mine. Well, I had a lease on it. But in our line of work, it amounts to the same thing. The chief, eh? But have you ever hauled a bucket of ore up a hill? There's no hill in the mine. Just a shaft with a winch. It's hard work carrying water. So is taking care of a mine. It's not quite the same thing, is it? You need brawn to carry water, not brains. I wasn't born a mine owner, you know. I've done my share of hauling. There's also the option of, um... emptying latrines. 
Are you trying to insult me? That's no job for a decent Christian. True. That's why it pays double. Double, hey? Well, that's not bad, not bad. But uh, for a man of my stature, no doubt there are more needy souls. Hmm. Double. Mm. How are you holding up in Ratai? Not too well. I've tried offering my administrative abilities at the Rat House, but the bailiff treats me like a peasant. He's not an easy man to deal with, true enough. But if you show him what you're capable of, or if he gives you a chance to show him... But the bailiff complained he couldn't get a word out of you. I refused to talk to him. Last time I did, he was vulgar, shouted and threatened to whip me. And then he comes and interrogates me. Well, I can't see how that would put you off him. Okay, so he does want a job, but the problem is you can only give it to five people. There's six people here, so one of them has to miss out. Now, he should miss out because he's not desperate, but there is a problem in, this, in the fact that he bugs out occasionally because you can recruit him for previous slabbits for the DLC, but if you don't give him a job, he can bug out and be sleeping all day, so you can't talk to him at all. So that's a bit of a problem, so you have to give him a job, otherwise he, he can bug out. Not always, but uh, I have seen him bug God out. Bless. Can I help you? Now, Bisson was one of the people that Teresa wanted to um, get a job for. Are you here on account of the water carrier? Yes, I am. My name is Vincent. Nice to meet you. I'll ask a few questions and we'll see. Alright? Fine. I ask away. What did you do before this? I work for my father. Doing what? But who's your father anyway? He's... He was Moimu. We had a farm near Scarlet. Really? His farmhands came to the tavern a lot, but I never saw you there. Uh, I don't go to tavern. So you're probably here about carrying water, right? Aye. I, I want to carry water. That's all? Nothing more to add? That's what's needed, ain't it? How are you holding up? Well, I'm alive. But I miss my father. And the farm, too. Ma says there's no use dwelling on it. Life must go on. What happened with Bailey? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. I, I don't know. I didn't talk to him at all. That's enough for now. So the thing is, he's taking care of his family. That's why, basically, his mother depends on his income. That's why Teresa wanted us to give him a job. So, yeah. Antonio is the second hey, one Teresa wanted us. Am I invisible or what? No, you're very visible, lady. But yeah, she's got a sick husband. What do you want? Whereas Vincent has a, work. um... He's, a, he's got a mother to look the after. the one in charge of giving out jobs? Not the bailiff. It's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for nobles, then I might have something for you. Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. But Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me though, so I came here myself. This one kind of upsets her and I think it precludes giving her a job, so... Look, I already have more people than jobs. You're a bit late. But I really need a job. And so does everyone else around here. None of them has a husband on his deathbed. Don? He's badly wounded. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Unconscious most of the time. Sorry to hear it. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. And he won't lift a finger for us now. Oh, if you know how to cook fine food, I could get you a job at the merchant's house. You'd have a nice roof over your head there, too. All I've ever cooked is gruel and soup. Nothing fit for nobles. A roof would be grand, though. Not so much for me, but for my husband. Is there any way you could arrange it? No. Not unless I lied about your cooking skills. But he'd find out soon enough, and then we'd both be in trouble. What did you do in Scalitz? I was at the silverworks, roasting the ore and washing it. My husband was at the smelter. Oh, Christ. Things got very ugly there. I suppose that's where your husband was wounded? 
It's a miracle you managed to drag him all the way to Ratai. What else could I do? Leave him there? All right. I'll think about it and talk to the bailiff. And you'll tell him to take me, right? Take care. Um... We didn't speak to her about the crap. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Oh shit! It's already arranged. No, no, the no. What am I to do? I'm truly sorry. Save your pity. Hey, care. Oh, I hope that didn't screw things up. Uh, oops. But uh, I should have been able to speak to her about the crap. Ah. I'm glad to see you. You're here about the water, Carrie. Hey. Ah. Where do I get some pay? Hold your horses. We haven't decided yet who gets the job. I have to ask you a few things first. What for? I can handle the job. But ask away. What trade did you do before? I worked in the mines, at the winch. You've heard of Tonda the winch, right? Strong as a bull. Ah, the name sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winter was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was a hard worker. Could I get the job? Uh, we're not finished yet. Are you here because you want to carry water? Well, I'd rather be back in the wind. Turning it so fast I'd make everyone's head spin. But now I want to carry water at least, since there's some money in it. Well, uh, there's also the option of carrying, um... Shit. Not a chance. I'm not carrying any shit around. And if anyone tries to make me, I'll break his legs. And what if I told you that you get <laughs> double the pay? Yeah, yeah. Didn't I mention something about breaking legs? You did. But more money? I wouldn't be turned to the winch anymore. More like turned to the stench. <laughs> and how are you holding up? Not very well. I'll tell you that. I help out with something every once in a while and get some money for it. It's not enough. Especially when the guys don't fall in my favour. Sure. And have you tried looking for other work? What for? They'll get the mines running again. And I'll have a real man's job. So, there's there's a bit of a hint there. He mentioned that, he, that the dice may not fall in his favour. So he engages in gambling and drinking. So, effectively, if you give him a job, he's going to waste all his money anyway. What about soldiering? That's real man's work, isn't it? It is. And I'd be good at it. When I land a punch, you'd think you were kicked by a horse. Which I once showed to a soldier I fell out with over a game of dice. Only, aren't he smart for soldiering? Indeed. Anyway, so, you can give him a job, and he would do a better job than uh, Cornelius. But... He's gonna waste his money. So that's the only justification I need to not give him a job. So which means that everybody else gets a job, but he doesn't. I heard you lot don't want to talk to the bailiff. I don't know much about that. The others didn't talk to him, so I kept my mouth shut as well. That's the way we do it with the mind. He didn't even really ask me anything anyway. Just mumbled something under his breath. <laughs> I know everything I need. So, can I go carry water then? Not yet. I'll tell the bailiff that he'll choose. Well, I hope he chooses me. Otherwise, I might be very angry. Ooh, very angry, hey? If you think I'm afraid of you, you're mistaken. We'll see. Anyway, so we've spoken to everybody. Rock and, uh, and Antonia get the jobs carrying the crap and everybody else gets water. If you give the job carrying excrement to Vincent, he'll basically off himself, unfortunately. So he's not quite ready to handle that job. Unfortunately, leaving Tonda out of the, out of the roster means that Tonda's gonna wanna fight us later on. But it's not that tough. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names, or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something else. Don't worry, I'll send for them. Tonda. Oh, shit. The winch. The winch. Not to be good with a bucket. Ah. What's he going to do? No, no, okay, or thankfully. Or maybe someone else. 
Thankfully, Jesus, that wasn't I final. I can see this ain't going to be easy. <laughs> Peter, better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? So he should be carrying crap because, firstly, it's a bit lighter than water, I think. And also pays more, so he's gonna be he's gonna be straining his arm less. Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Okay, Vincent. Vincent. Moimir son. Vincent? Never heard of him. What do you think he should do? He needs to carry, carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Like I said before, if you give him a job carrying crap, he's gonna top himself. So that's not good. Uh Antonia, Antonia, yeah. What? A woman? Yeah, is that a problem? You never said it had to be only men. I didn't, but I kind of assumed it would be clear. It's a long walk with a heavy load, man's work. She can handle the job. Have no fear. Let's hope so. You'll have to answer to me if she can't. Where do we put her, then? Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Okay, so that's two people carrying crap. Vasi goes by the moniker of Pikmin. Pikmin. I hope he doesn't have a history of pickpocketing. No, no. They call him Pikmin because he worked in the silver mines. And he was very keen with the pick. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Where do you want to put him? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Cornelius. Ah, Cornelius. I had him here once looking for a job. Where do you want to put him? <laughs> I'd like to see him with buckets of shit. Ah, yes. The bailiff doesn't like him. To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? That's it. Good. All decided. Now about the cook's job. I chose a cook as well. Should I tell you or go to Hagen? Tell me who you chose and I'll take care of it. I chose old Agnes for the cook's job. I had a job convincing her, but it was worth it. She's the best cook around. Glad to hear it. I'll have to drop in on Hagen for lunch sometime. See you later. And that's it. That's it for that quest. Uh, although the consequences are still still to be to be shown. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think we're going for a walk with Teresa this morning. That will take place over the next couple of days. Oh my god! <laughs> She's so sexy. Look at that. That is a sexy dress. Okay, now... There is something you can do here. Or oh, you should be able to do something here. This is Antonio's husband, by the way. God be with you. Oh, um, what? <laughs> That's meant to be Antonio's husband, <laughs> who's supposed to be unable to speak, but, uh, yeah. I think once the jobs are assigned, we'll be able to talk to her about him. Courtship, can't do that. Let's let's get a bit of red, red deer meat. Uh, so the same area that we were at before is actually quite good for red deer as well. There are a few other areas around here, but that is fairly close. Okay, there's a deer. Nice hit. There you go. That's how you catch deer. Now all the hairs turn up. Of course they do. So yes, deer is actually amazing when it comes to getting meat. And look at that, multiple hairs everywhere. Psst. Now the real problem with hunting is venison. So roe deer basically. I think that's where you get venison, but I'm probably wrong. But anyway, hunting roe deer is the worst. Just because it's so skittish and it's such small targets. And also, they don't give you much meat. So when it comes to the hunting quests, they're actually some of the worst. Boar are kind of difficult to hunt as well, but they're difficult because they're so, they take so much damage. So you have to, you know, hit them multiple times with, uh, with your bow. Red deer are a little bit more fragile, so yes, they're actually uh, good to kill. And usually, oh, hello. Oh, no. Um, is this a good idea? Stop and talk a while at least. Oh, he's a traitor. Um, okay, I thought he was gonna fight us. What is it? It's just that you seem to me like a man who doesn't frighten easily. 
And I could use a man like that. It's a little complicated. Let's just say I know where there's some riches buried. And you could persuade me to share that knowledge with you. Before a reasonable price, needless to say. Sounds a little fishy to me. How do you know about it? Well, I helped this merchant out, see? His wagon got stuck in the mud, and in return, he, uh, shared it with me. He told you where he had money hidden? That sounds unlikely. The thing is, at the time, he wasn't quite alive. <laughs> <laughs> what? He wasn't quite alive, uh-huh. I found the merchant dead in his wagon. So me and my cousin, uh, uh, freed the wagon. And as I was helping him into the grave, we dug, well... <laughs> accidentally. Accidentally slipped inside his coat and caught hold of this parchment with something scribbled on it. Right. No beating about the bus. I don't get it. Why don't you just get the treasure for yourself? To tell you the truth, I can't make head nor tail of it. It's a parchment with something scribbled on it. But I've no head for such things. So for all you know, it's worth it. No! No! It leads to treasure. That I can swear. Nah. Uh, he doesn't know, but the thing is, all the treasure maps are actually, actually worth getting, so... It's a rather wild story. Well, worth a try. Excellent. Here, take this. And I wish you good fortune in your search. Yeah, so it's, it is worth getting it. Okay, no searching. No searching, please. They're really difficult to spot. Okay, here we are. Oh, he's literally here. <laughs> That's not usually where they are. But I guess the rain has, uh, you know, has kind of shifted them over. I brought that game. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Amy. We'll get lots of supplies for this. I've got another order for you. The merchant Hagen has a family wedding, and he wants to serve wild boar cooked in wine. I'm sure he can get his own wine. Of course, just the boar. All right, I'll bring it. Uh, Andrew, 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 Andrew. Good health to you. Uh, I could offer you know of this. any way I could earn a bit of coin around here? As it happens, I was just going to tell you about the <laughs> job. So, tell me. Now and again, the fisherman from Tomberg comes around here with some game to sell. There's more and more poaching going on there, and they're always looking for new people, if you're interested. Poachers? Wait, what? Oh, is this... Ah... Tell me oh, this is a different place. quest. There isn't. Only this is a different is, quest. Uh, oh. Well, not an easy man to get on. Why is that? Did I... Did He's I just ruin this? For a poacher. He's got ideas. And not just about how to make coin. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. Um... That won't be... I'm gonna deny this one. As you me. wish. Come back if you change your mind. But this is the Master Huntsman quest. I'll trade. Any trouble around these parts? Around here? The ones who've got it worst are them at the Neuhof stud farm. Mm -hmm. Getting things up and running again without old Smil would be a job and a half. His widow Zora is a fine woman. Tough as he come. Well, she's a woman still. Yes, so that is the horse race quest. So now there should be a quest over here for the horse for the horse race. Um, but what we just saw just then was the Master Huntsman quest over here at Tamburg. Um, I don't know what the Ujid's quest is. I don't know what the Ujid's quest is. I'm kind of afraid to go there. <laughs> because things are things are weird in Ujid's, man. All right, so let me go to Tamburg and the Ujid's and pick up the quests at least. Okay. The fight is on. Bandit versus guards? What are you doing here? Oh shit. No, no, no. I'm just watching, man. Just watching. It's Bandit versus Bandit, I think. Anyway. <laughs> I don't want to get off. I don't want to get off because it's going to smash my face in. The problem with being the main character in this game is that everybody hates you. 
all of the bad guys hate you. They might be fighting each other, but then as soon as you get off your horse, they'll turn around and smash my face in. I'm too scared to handle them. And besides, I'm trying not to kill anyone, you know? I am trying not to kill anyone here. It's a bit of a challenge, to be honest, but uh, I had to kill a few people during the battle. How are the Talmberg folk getting on? Is it peaceful here? Do you even have to ask? Some poachers have settled in the woods near the inn. A right band of them too. The master huntsman's at his wit's end with them. That maybe you could use your help. Okay, so that is indeed the master huntsman's quest. I remember this. Ah oh yes, what's his name here? I remember you, Tom of the Bards. There are some bandits over here. Let's see if I can't pickpocket them. This could be very ugly. That is a cool man. Yep, I think some guys are on the other side of the road. So I could either get smashed, or we could get some profits. Okay, let me try this. The horse is over there, but let me try this. This could be very risky. Okay! Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> okay, um... I'm gone, kids! <laughs> yes, uh, it, it was it was a dog, man. It was a dog, not me, not me sneaking in plain sight. <laughs> Oops! There should have been more people around. Uh, I can't believe that it was just him by himself. But but oh my god! Lady, have some decency. Put your clothes on. No, there you go. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Nothing out of the ordinary. Praise God. What? There was a map marker. Game. I think that might be the Tumberg quest. Never mind me nearly getting killed. 